Here we are on March 15th, and we're doing a part two for this uh, video about how to motivate millennials. And I'm going to just go around the class and give people a chance to add on a bit here. Um, anything about uh, motivate employees that we might have talked further about? So I think with from like a boss perspective, like it's better to foster more of a personal relationship than a work boss mm -hmm. one, and that always helps because if you like your boss, if you're more right. of a friend, then you're obviously more inclined to work harder and better for right. Okay, we're talking about also progression, work progression. Anybody else want to add anything on to that? Do we hear anything you want to add? Uh, sure. Okay, yeah. Maybe if uh, employees provide uh, proper training, it mm -hmm. would give them uh, confidence and courage mm -hmm. to come to work and be more happier. Because like millennial, they think they are not experienced enough and mm -hmm. providing the good training, mm -hmm. it gives them the confidence they need to just go out there and do their best. Okay, good. Thanks. Um, okay, over here, anything anybody wants to add? Yes, go ahead. Isaiah? Well, in terms of reward, it's become increasingly important for millennials to be concerned more about the status mm -hmm. and that more and more millennials are willing to give up something for uh, life changing promotion. So Good point. it's important to keep that in mind when rewarding okay. millennials. Okay, thanks. Anybody else? Um, millennials really value uh, a creative culture and environment. Mm -hmm. They want like Taco Tuesdays and mm -hmm. beers on Fridays, and mm -hmm. they want to feel like their company values them. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. 